I was spending two weeks in Japan. I was hoping this would be a relaxing family vacation for my wife. But at the same time, my teen daughter has a big plan to explore all the anime's hotspots. Choosing between relaxing casually and rushing through all popular areas for Pokemons. Here was my original plan to balance the two. Even though I'm new to Hakanae, I have a feeling it would be a perfect place for my wife to enjoy quiet meditation sessions at one of these wonderful onsen hotels. I booked two different hotels just to make sure I have a backup in case the style may not turn out to be her preference. The location of this hotel may not be perfect, but the facility is very new and modern. Hakone has more than just onsen, they do have other attractions that are worth going. Here we are supposed to take the cable car, but because of the weather conditions, they stopped running. We ended up driving. By the way, if you have young kids or teens like me, there is a small onsen water park that is perfect for them. I'll share more details on a different video. Back at Tokyo, my daughter wanted to visit as many Pokemon Center as she can. Each major Pokemon Center has their signature design merchandise. The one at Shibuya has a specific program to let you design your own Pokemon t-shirt. My daughter even found a place where they sell secondhand Pokemon toys, but the price wasn't that good. I'll share some highlights on a follow-up video. If your kids are also into Pokemon, I want to share some tips I discovered about making reservations at Pokemon Cafe and Kirby Cafe. I hope they will be useful for you because they are very competitive. Talking about reservation, if you're also planning to visit the Ghibli Museum, we ended up joining a third-party tour because we were also having troubles getting tickets. There are a few other experiences that I found interesting, which you may be interested to put into your plan. I'll break them down into different videos to share more details. Hotel choice is one main part of building a relaxing trip. Credit card rewards work extremely well in Asia. I was exercising my Hilton benefits mostly for free night, free upgrade, club access for 24 hours free snacks and drinks, very nice free breakfast. Most importantly, we were able to stay very close to a main train station with convenience store underground in short walking distance. I'll work on a video to share my strategy. Hopefully, it is something you can also apply easily. Towards the end of the trip, my wife was saving the best for last. We were heading to Tokyo Disney. It happened to be the opening day of the Fantasy Springs. Getting a reservation was almost impossible. My wife went directly to the vacation package. It turned out to be one of the best decisions on this trip. We are getting a themed room and fast pass XX to all new rides. I hope you like my video so far and will revisit the channel for more details. Do subscribe and like, I really appreciate it. I'll see you on the next video.